and uh, he's just coming closer and holding the gun, like just kind of like in a movie. It was kind of like, like a movie. Yeah. It was like being I'm in a sure. movie, definitely. The victims of an armed home invasion robbery and shooting in Penticton Wednesday say they're feeling grateful to be alive after being woken by a group of armed masked men. A couple at a home on Winnipeg Street say four or five masked men barged into their bedroom waving around a gun. It's, uh, yelling at me, where's this girl's stuff? Where's this girl's stuff? I said, I don't know what stuff you want. Whatever you want, just take it. Don't kill me. And then he came up to the bed on me and uh, smashed the gun in the back of my head and it went off. And the circle, they had to cut it out to take the bullet uh, hole. Then there's another one here. And another one here. And here. So this is where he came over and smashed the gun to my head. And when he hit my head, the, the gun went off and the bullet went through here, through there, through there. So I didn't know if he just shot me in the head because there was blood coming down my, the back of my head and there was blood coming down the front of my face. And then at that moment, everything was like uh, humming because of the gunshot in my head. So I just said, okay, go ahead, kill me. If you want to kill me, kill me. And I just stood there and he's like, get down on the floor. And he's yelling to his friends, get a gag. We're going to gag them. We're going to kill them both. Michael says he managed to escape out the sliding door while Sarah hid in the closet under a blanket. The men proceeded to loot the home of valuables, including electronics and musical instruments. As the men pulled away, Michael says he tried to confront them. Across the street naked, covered in blood, and I ran up to the car and I looked inside and I seen the guy there with the glasses on, no bandana. The other guys all had bandanas still. And I uh, attempted to punch his uh, window and then I broke my hand and they sped off that way and the other car sped off that way. It's believed the suspects fled to a townhouse on Maple Street where around six people were arrested. It took hours for police to coax one of the accused out with a bullhorn. Two men have been charged for the incident, alleged shooter Joseph Pavlik. Jesse Mason is believed to be the man who refused to surrender to police for hours Wednesday. He's been charged with home invasion. Both have been held in custody pending a court date Monday. Michael says he knows the accused, but believes the home invasion was motivated by a simple robbery and that his home was burgled months prior when he was not home. He disputes the description some neighbors have placed on his home as a problem property, explaining he's lived there for over 10 years and nothing beyond booze and cannabis is consumed at any parties he hosts. And then I get looked at like, oh, he's in there partying, he must be a drug dealer and he's part of the drug scene. I'm no. not part of the drug scene at all. No, nothing no. to do with drugs at all. It's, it's not my style. It never has been and it never will be. For Castanet in Penticton, I'm Colin Dacre.